This little snap Euro I made this ages ago. This was probably one of the first I ever made. I put some plugs in it and made it as a repinnable lock. The key's a bit sticky. It's not perfect. Like I say, it's an old lock that I made quite a while back, but it does work. And that's the bit in on the key. And if I remember right, I think I filled it with spools. So this will be a brilliant lock for anybody what's just starting out and they want to learn how to pick spools. That's why I made it so I could learn how to pick spool pins. So first of all, we're going to see if we can pick it open on camera. It's been a while since I've picked this one. And then we're going to let someone have it because I can always make myself another one of these. And again, it's a shame for me to just keep this in the cupboard and never use it when it could teach somebody how to pick locks. So, or how to pick spool pins, I should say. So that's the plan. And then when we've picked it, I'll tell you how you can win it. All you'll get with it is the uh, this lock, the key, and I'll give you an Allen key for the grub screws. And that's all what you're going to get with it. So it's not a great big giveaway. It's just, again, teaching somebody how to pick locks with spool pins. So you can see I've just opened it. I'll just spin it back around just to show you. It is open. So what we'll do is we'll lock it back up. We'll have a quick look at the pins inside. And then I'll tell you what I want you to do to win it. So let's just get the pinning tray over here. Beauty of these is it's so easy to take apart when you ain't got a mess about. So I thought I'd filled it with spools and obviously not because the first pin is a standard. So but whoever wins it, let me know. I can always change that first pin for a spool. It's only up to you what you want me to put in it. The second one is a spool. So like I say, it'll be perfect for somebody. The last one, a guy called Stephen Stone won it. The last giveaway I give. Uh, the last giveaway I did, I should say. And... I'm sure he's having fun with it. The third one's a spool. I thought I'd put six spools in it, but I obviously didn't. Maybe there's five in it and just one standard. We're getting there. It's looking that way. One to go. Might as well stick the grub screw up there as well. So let me just show you. So yeah, it did have five spools in it and it just had that one standard pin at the front. I could always change that for a spool if you want to have six spools in it, let me know. So right, to win it, it's simple. All you've got to do is send me an email and just uh, tell me you'd like it. So if you send me an email and tell me who you are, how long you've been uh, involved in lock sport, or send some photos of the locks you've got all whatever really, just to convince me that you are a genuine person, then I'll stick you in the drawer. But that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.